Welcome back for another Minnesota weather example. This time it is a spring rain shower. It's March 23rd and it's a rainy day. Winds at my location are calm, but at the airport there's a 13 mile an hour breeze from the east. The barometric pressure is dropping. So why this rain? Let's look at the map. Here you see our location in Rochester, Minnesota, with a map of sea level air pressure with low pressure in purple. You also see the wind patterns. So we are located north, northeast of an approaching low pressure system. Winds are swirling in a counterclockwise pattern around the low, so that explains the wind direction. Where is this moisture coming from, though? Switching to show total precipitable water, we can see that there is warm, humid air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. This is meeting colder, drier air coming down from Canada. In our area, the warm, moist air is being gradually lifted up over the colder, denser air. As the air rises, it expands, cools, and reaches the dew point temperature, which causes the condensation falling today as rain. So what happens the next day? Let's jump ahead and find out. Here it is, 11 a.m. on the 24th, and you can see that the low pressure system has moved northeastward and is now right over Rochester, Minnesota. Converging winds are causing the air to be pushed upward, and wet conditions continue, though it has slowed down a lot since a lot of the water has already been wrung out of this air. It's still overcast and kind of misty and drizzly. Wind direction is switched from the east to the south and now from the west-southwest. This has been a Minnesota weather example of a spring rain shower.